Hey everybody, uh, here are the answers to our Where I Stand activity that we did the day before our week off for spring break. Um, and so we'll go through these here right shortly. If you did the activity, I should you should have turned it in already, and I should have returned it to you that day after break. Um, we're going to fill out the column that's the last one right here, okay? It's based on your belief, liberal or conservative. We'll talk about what you said. And if it is more of a liberal or conservative belief, and we'll also talk about why a little bit uh, compared to your why you have, okay? So you should hopefully have this document up on your computer. It'd be a great thing to have. Maybe play me in the background, and we can kind of go through uh, each of these issues. And and if the uh, how you answered might be more liberal or conservative in its belief situation, okay? So here we go. Let's go through the answers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is where you stood more liberal? All fall more democratic on the spectrum or more conservative on the spectrum as we go through things. So question number one, more money a person makes, the more tax they should pay. That being a bigger percentage of taxes, the less they make, the lesser they should pay. If you said yes to this, right, the more you make, the more you pay, less you make, less you pay, that'd be more of a liberal ideology. Now, if you disagreed and think, no, we should all pay the same thing. doesn't matter if you make $1 or $1 million, that would be more conservative. So a yes or agree to this is more um, is more liberal in his thinking process. It's kind of thinking about uh, what's fair for people looking at the idea of poverty and how poverty plays a role in things, looks at this one a little bit too. And that's kind of where this guy comes in here, okay? So if you agreed, it's more liberal. If you disagreed, it falls more into that conservative area. Next one here, people are poor because of the choices they make. This one is going to be more conservative, okay? More conservative. Uh, typically, Republicans are more conservative uh places on the spectrum look at your own individual choices right for why people do certain things okay uh, when it comes down to social issues looking at crime and drugs and all that kind of stuff uh, conservative viewpoint is kind of you have a choice right you have rights you have freedom you have a choice to make you make that choice if you disagreed with this a uh, more liberal viewpoint will look at the situation involved poverty those kind of situations and take those more into account for the choices that are being made and maybe try to help fix some of those choices that are happening our next one there should be more restrictions on who enters the united states this is going to be if you agreed more conservative okay here's why uh conservatives tend to take a more united states first type approach and that they kind of think, hey, we're going to look at us first and then everybody else after that. Whereas on the other side, with a more democratic or more liberal viewpoint, they're going to say, meh. Um, we're welcoming people in the idea of the American dream. Those kind of ideas play a big role in this. And that's where that part comes in. So if you agreed, it's more conservative. If you disagreed, more liberal. Our next one, display the Confederate flag should be banned in all circumstances except for historical educational purposes. If you agreed... That probably falls a lot more liberal. Looking at the idea of the civil rights issue. Um, many times I'm not saying it's right or wrong or any of that kind of stuff. Okay, just so you know. A lot of times the Confederate flag is been has been used as a display of uh, racism or display of those kind of issues. And so in a lot of cases you'll hear see the idea of that kind of falling more along those lines. They shouldn't be displayed except for like historical educational kind of things. If you disagree, you may look more towards the uh, conservative viewpoint, stating at how, well, it's, it's my right, I have a right to do this, or you can say it's kind of been our tradition within uh, certain parts of the country. Those ideas may come in if you disagreed, okay? Uh, College-educated citizens benefit all society. We should pay for college-bound tuition. This is going to be a, if you agreed, it will be a more liberal ideology, disagree, more conservative. Now, if you agreed, it's more liberal because uh, the idea of government intervention, kind of helping people uh, work off that poverty type situation, okay? That, hey, you know, we should help everybody make better for all kind of situation, have the government get involved to make that happen. If you disagreed and the conservative viewpoint would say more, well, it's your choice, go to college or not, you can make that decision, it's up to you, that shouldn't be something that the government decides, and that's where that part comes in. Our next one, the less government interferes with prices, wages, business decisions, the better. If you agreed, yep, it's conservative. It's a big conservative kind of thing, right? The question of how much does the government get involved in stuff? And so the less involvement, we call it laissez-faire, which is a French word for hands-off, okay? Um, that's going to be one of those ideas. Uh, on the other hand, 
the more liberal viewpoint, if you disagree with this, is going to be more that someone needs to look over businesses potentially and make sure prices are fair, wages are fair, conditions are fair, all that kind of stuff. I have a great story of where um, growing up in my hometown, there's a cult. You hear about this cult very often. I'm not a member, I swear to God. Though when it comes to cults, uh, you make more money as a leader, more fun as a follower. Um, there's some parks and rec, don't worry about it. Anyway, um, we had this cult in my hometown who had bought a bunch of gas stations and decided to cut their gas by $2 a gallon. It was next to nothing, right? Their whole goal here was to put all the other gas stations out of business. Well, the government stepped in and said, hey, you can't do that, and made it so they can get involved that way. And so that's kind of where you look and see in terms of how this involvement in business happens sometimes. Abortion should be illegal in all situations. If you agreed... It's going to be more conservative, disagree, more liberal. Here's why. Uh, abortion has been kind of a, tab a taboo topic. Uh, it's been one of those things that um, has been talked about a lot in terms of, of women's rights, in terms of, of is it okay or not. The question of religion comes in here a lot. And so conservatives are going to fall more into this line of making it illegal because of tradition and that kind of stuff. Whereas liberals are okay with the change, kind of the social changes that are taking place. Second Amendment only applied to muskets. That's te that was kind of technology wrong. It was written. That would be more of a kind of liberal type idea looking at government getting more involved in terms of, of shootings and that kind of stuff. Whereas a more conservative viewpoint would disagree because Second Amendment, those kind of issues would come in that way. And kind of keeping things traditional the way they have been. Uh, all people should have the right to marry regardless of their sexual orientation. If you agreed, it's going to be more liberal, disagree, more conservative. Um... When it falls into this part here, guys, it's because of change, right? It's change in, in how traditions work and social morals and those kind of things. So liberal side is, is more okay with the idea of things changing versus a conservative side, which kind of wants to keep things the way they have been traditionally or looking at religion as, as part of their base. Um, the government should only recognize gender on your birth certificate. That's been more conservative. Once again, this comes down to how much change we have in terms of social acceptance and those kind of ideas. Whereas if you disagree with this, it'll be more liberal, okay with more change in terms of our traditions and those ideas. Last one, government should provide free health care to all citizens. You guess if you agreed, it is more liberal, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and this is kind of the idea that... Uh, once again, government's getting involved to make up for, say, poverty or getting involved to make up for deficiencies we have in our current system. Uh, or the, the government should be taking care of basic needs of people is where it kind of falls into. Whereas the opposite side is going to be the case of, well, if you can pay for it, you take care of it. If you make health decisions, you take care of health decisions. It's a hands-off government approach, right? You make those own decisions for yourself and you go from there. Okay, very, very simply looking at the general ideas here, and I'm in the way it looks like for part of this, but we'll fix that, okay? General liberal and conservative ideologies, right? The economy, liberal said government should be regulating stuff, right? Regulate power, that kind of thing, whereas the general conservative is going to say no to that. No government regulation, no intervention in the economy, hands off. When it comes to our cause of social problems, the liberal is going to say poverty a lot of times, or situations that happen in, in case will lead to problems like drug abuse and crime and those kind of things. Where instead, a conservative viewpoint will, will look at social problems as more of a poor individual choice. Lack of morals, lack of good leadership. You choose to do things. Be a criminal, do drugs, bad career, choose not to study, don't, don't go to school, whatever it might be. Whereas they will look at other issues that might fall in there. When it comes to taxes, the liberals say uh, generally that the burden of taxes should be on the rich. Uh, they can afford things and help pay for programs that help the poor. Whereas on the other side, the conservative is going to say that high taxes and large government programs are bad. They're wasteful. They, un they un unfairly target people who are successful, which is the wealthy in America. And they're going to instead, if they have to have taxes, have a flat tax. We'd rather have less taxes because they want to have a smaller government. And so as part of that, you don't need a lot of taxes. When it comes to the idea of religion, a lot of times liberal ideology says they're against um, a lot of government decision-making endorsing any kind of certain religious beliefs. You can't believe in that very strict difference between uh, church and state, that church ideas shouldn't be influencing uh, government ideas, where on the flip side, a general conservative idea is that religious faith, while not like part of the government, should be kind of like the inspiration and like having faith or having religion is really important for that uh, healthy, healthy, good moral society.
I think the biggest thing here is looking at our purpose of government, okay? Why do we have a government? And so the liberal ideology says we have a government to create laws, make agencies, to make sure that things are equal, people are supported, protect civil liberties, solve problems, and basically make the world a better place for everybody. And the government is there to solve those problems, okay? On the vice versa side of this, the conservative ideology is that the government is there to protect your individual rights and freedoms, and you can help give the opportunity then to make the change and make life better for yourself and for everybody else. And they're there to help promote tra values, give strong national offense, and basically let people help make their own decisions. And I've said this in a couple different videos, and I'll bring this up hopefully a few other times. When looking at these two different ideologies, it's not that a liberal or conservative want to have different things for the country. They want people to be happy, to be healthy, to be successful, all that kind of stuff. It's how they get there is the issue. And they both kind of think that their way of doing things is the right one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you guys a copy of this on Google Classroom. You're going to get this as well. And uh, make sure you guys fill out your document, do the rest of the activities that go along with our first little part of political ideology. I will see you guys in our next class day. Thank you all for listening. Have a good day.